Hey there, it's Mark with Mark's Astro Journey. And recently I got my Coronado Solar Max 3 60 millimeter Etalon filter and a blocking filter. I plan to start doing some solar astrophotography. I realized that I don't have a solar finder. I didn't buy the entire dedicated solar telescope. So I need to find a solar finder to help locate the sun during the day. So I was looking online trying to see if I could find a solar finder. And what I noticed is they cost $40, $50, $60. And it's a fairly simple item, actually. I did some searching. I saw several people suggested just make your own. So I didn't have any tubing that was the right size to fit my finder bracket. You can see this fits in like a Vixen saddle. I went out to Lowe's and I found this which is a 12 inch extension tube for a sink and it's labeled as one and a quarter. I noticed a lot of people say if this uh, can be about 155 millimeters long, it's about the right length for a solar finder. So I basically cut off the end that had the larger threaded end that um, connects to underneath a sink and I just have this um, 155 millimeter long piece of plastic. And then I found in my telescope supplies an end cap. And it just so happens that these end caps that fit a lot of stuff related to telescope equipment also fit this tubing. So you'll notice it fits it really nice. So what I did with that end cap is I marked the center and I drilled, uh, they suggest, like a one millimeter or two millimeter hole in the center of the end cap. And so this is for the side where the sun enters the solar finder. I found another end cap that was, was kind of transparent. So it's plastic, right? But it's you can actually see through it. And this is kind of what we need on the other end so that we can see the sun's image projected. All I have to do to create my solar finder then is to insert this through my bracket. So make sure our screws are loosened up. These are those adjusting screws. And pull the, the spring pin in our bracket so that the pipe will slide through. And then of course we would adjust these adjusting screws um, once we're ready to, if we want to align this to the telescope. But basically all I need to do is on the opposite end that's going to face the sun, put on the end cap that I put the small hole in. On the other end, I have the transparent end cap and I marked a dot on the very center of it. I found that it wasn't very easy to mark this plastic, so I actually taped it off and painted a dot because the magic marker didn't want to stick to this plastic. So basically you can see that I now have a solar finder and the question is, will this work? I spent $5 and something for the tailpiece for a sink. I had the end caps in my loose parts from various telescope equipment and also had this bracket. You probably have a similar finder bracket. So I'm going to take it outside and see how it works. So here's the sun. It is behind, uh, partially behind some tree limbs. But let's see what we get. We'll try it out. So if you can see on this solar finder that I created, if you had this mounted on your telescope and you were trying to line it up, we see the small dot of the sun projected on that very back end cap. And if we line it up with this black dot, we should be fairly close to centered in our telescope. And then of course, once we get the telescope um, perfectly aligned with the sun, we could use those two adjusting screws and tweak the solar fender to have it dead on. So that if we needed to realign during that imaging session of the sun, we could use the solar fender again. So I thought this was pretty cool, um, a way to come up with a solar fender and save a little money. Maybe you even have one of these one and a quarter inch sink tail pieces laying around. And you probably have one of these uh, finder brackets. 
And so this might uh, be a way to find something that actually works and also saves a person, um, you know, 40, maybe 40 or $50.